And many in the hotel industry say that they are not a fan of this proposed tax hike. They say that's because it could end up leading to revenue drops in the industry, which could mean layoffs. For now, reporting live in Memphis, I'm Ariana Poindexter, WMC Action News 5. At least nine arrested after this scene at a Memphis park yesterday. Dozens were detained after neighbors complained about this music video shoot that involved juveniles and guns. And Jerry Askin did some digging today and found some of those weapons were stolen, right, Jerry? Yes, Joe, police say at least one gun was stolen. Now, you see crime scene tape here from yesterday's large crime scene at this park where you see kids playing basketball right now. We also asked police, was rapper Jay Fizzle arrested? And police haven't yet confirmed that. He goes by Jay Fizzle. He's a Memphis rapper seen here in a rap video shot earlier this year. In the video, lots of guns and cash. Cool, good guy. A money making machine. Antonio Walker said he was at OL Cash Park Thursday for the Jay Fizzle video shoot. After complaints from neighbors, police showed up here detaining 38 people, placing many of them in these large transport vehicles. Here are some of the guys who are now facing charges. Ultimately, nine men were charged after police say there were guns and drugs at the park during the video shoot. A police source told me many of these guys were also high-ranking gang members. You know, I see it with Valley going on, then it would have been a problem. But no Valley going on, everybody kicking and having fun. We can't have fun in the city. But police say these guys went too far. I asked Antonio Walker why the guns were necessary for a video shoot. They really for a show, you know what I'm saying, to get more views. One mom whose son was detained told me it's a big lesson learned for these guys, some now with the new charge as a reminder. I've been warning him and talking with him, and he, he's not paying attention, so this didn't make up be a wake-up call for him. And today we have reached out again to Jay Fizzle and his team for a comment, and still we're waiting for a response. We're live. Jerry Askin, WMC Action News 5. Happening now, a visitation for a Mid-South Marine killed in Hawaii. Sergeant William Brown was stabbed to death on a street in Honolulu back on October 21st. A 16-year-old was charged with second-degree murder in the killing. The body was returned home today, carefully unloaded off a Delta Airlines flight from Atlanta while the family watched. Visitation will go until 8 tonight, with the funeral happening Saturday at 12 noon. If you got two notices to renew your car tags, don't worry, it's not a scam, but a mistake made by the Department of Revenue. The department says two notices were.